The Master Chief Collection just received its biggest update since the Season 8 update. Some leaked modes for the Yappanin coming around for us, as well as it looks like the Academy will have a Forge tutorial in Halo 5, possibly on PC. Well, if you want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So yes, you heard me right. The MCC got a massive update, a very substantial one. It comes with a lot of bug fixes, a lot of new features, and new content that recently came to the game here. So I definitely will be jumping in and testing around, playing around with a little bit as well. Might even make a video or two about it because this is a very substantial update that if you guys haven't played MCC in a long time, it's definitely a good time to jump back in and play. Now I do have a full video detailing everything with this blog update and what it all means. We basically have new, five new Spartan armors for Halo 2 Anniversary, Golden Moe is now in ODST and Reach, Acrophobia and Banana Skulls added to Reach, main menu background customization, new Forge options for Reach 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary, especially the object duplication, which I know a lot of Forges are very excited about. For menu overhaul, which is looks amazing now, post-match poses, unified subtitle improvements, live playlist hopper data refresh at weekly reset. That's fantastic for quality life improvement right there. I also changed the seasons now to series and various bug fixes. But that's not all that really changed with MCC. There was a big update to Halo Reach. And that update to Reach was Bloom. No, we're not talking about gameplay of Bloom. We're talking about visual Bloom when it comes to the visual aesthetics of Reach. As you can see this before and after comparison that the YouTuber Y put together right here. Kind of bringing back that classic aesthetic of the Reach campaign. Uh, this also kind of helps kind of blur things up a little bit so you don't see so many of the aged textures and things like that as much. And again, like it brings back the visuals that were originally intended for Reach. And I think this actually personally is an improvement. You see this on multiplayer as well as in campaign. Uh, maybe if this is an option we can probably turn off, I would like that, especially for the multiplayer. I like to have it a little bit more crisp and clear. But I think it's a really great thing to kind of bring it back more in line with the traditional visuals that we expect to have for Halo Reach. Max Lasgore, if I pronounce that correctly, the designs director over at 343 mentioned this about this recent MCC update. That there's more stuff to come as well. As I mean, he's very excited about this update, but as per the latest MCC blog update with the hundred points coming in the future for a content update, also that the controller remapping is also coming in the future as well. So the same thing we have in Halo Infinite, it's coming to MCC. Like it's starting to feel like MCC might be the true live service game and Halo Infinite is kind of trailing behind. So if you guys missed it recently, the Yappening was recently announced and it's coming on September 6th. And then they came with a comic to kind of showcase some of the new customization, some of the new things coming to the game. I speculate there's gonna be something involving a skull as or like the oddball or something to do with the fusion coils as they showed up in multiple scenes right here. Well, we recently had a leak talking about the game mode's gonna be playing for the Yappening. It looks like three different game modes are gonna be available for us to play. One is Kong Slayer, which is infinite fusion coils, big jumps, and grapple hooks. We also have Purple Rain Slayer, where low gravity and infinite ammo with needlers and grapple hooks. And then we also have Arena Turbo Slayer, however it makes it turbo. The reason why I bring up the game modes are so important when it comes to the Yappening one is because the events that we've had, the game modes have been rather lackluster, nothing really too interesting, especially since the Yappening that we had back in the MCC really, you know, brought some unique aspects to the gameplay mechanics of Halo, and I was really hoping to do the same with this one, and it looks to like be not as crazy as the MCC's version of the Yappening, but it does seem to be much more focused on the social fun side of things, which I think is very important for this mode. And even though we covered this in a previous video, check it out guys on the channel if you missed it these are all the different things you can unlock when it comes to the event pass as well as week one and week two of the weekly rewards that you can have for completing all the challenges for that week today we should be getting a big blog update talking about basically roadmap 2.0 for halo infinite coming our way and i will definitely let you guys know as soon as possible on this channel most likely we'll do a quick little headline and then a news breakdown two separate different videos you guys want to dig into the details of everything I'll have that video up as soon as that blog goes live, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tap like also because it helps support the channel. But let's get back into some more awesome Forge leaks now coming in our way. Now, we recently had some of the Forge canvases leaked out here. I covered this on the video the other day. If you guys want to check out that video, again, on here on the channel. I keep you guys up to date pretty well on here. There's some more information from Serasia about when it comes to Forge. I think it'd be very important for your casual players, saying that the Halo Infinite Academy will also have a Forge tutorial and a canvas dedicated to the tutorial. 
And according to the leaks, the canvas will be part of the academy and there will be a whole tutorial system behind it, which actually to me would be super useful. That's one thing that should really stop me from getting into Halo 5's Forge was really because like I tried playing and I'm like, oh, this is way too complicated for me. I'm, I'm just gonna let the Forgers deal with it and I'll just play the cool stuff. This is gonna be very important for Halo Infinite's Forge as it does seem to really advance the feature much further than we've ever seen it before. So I'm very excited about this. I mean, for other context, and we also have seen leaks of people with getting into the campaign, utilizing Forge, which is kind of crazy playing around with different weather effects and vision, different visual aesthetics right here. If I fast forward a little bit here, you can kind of see like what this person on YouTube kind of posted up here, just kind of showcasing all the crazy stuff that they're doing with Forge in the campaign, which I doubt that'd be campaign Forge. If there is, that'd be really awesome. But you know, this is part of those leaks things where like, this is what's happening. I'm just showing to you guys and take it what you will. Well, on the topic of Forge, there's some serious viral content going on right now when it comes to Halo of his Forge. One is being the recreation of the room from Andy's room in Toy Story in Halo Infinite here. This is from Red Nomster, who previously did like the realistic scaled room and all that kind of stuff. Now he's like, well, what if we made ourselves toy size and try to replicate the room from Toy Story, which is kind of crazy right here. First of all, I do love how this Jenga set actually physically does fall once he knocks out the piece. Again, just kind of showcasing the physics that you can play around with when it comes to this game. Jenga is going to be pretty awesome in Halo Infinite, especially with the grapple shot. That's gonna be really awesome. Again, like all these things are just created in Forge. And I'm excited to see what we get to hear about when it comes to this, the open beta testing that's gonna be coming our way here relatively soon. Hopefully with season three, it doesn't get too delayed too much at all with the recent uh, information we'll begin with the blog update coming out here. Now, of course, Forge will only be as good as custom games settings will allow it to be. And it seems like 343, it's actually gonna be taking steps forward to improve the custom game experience. Here on Reddit, they posted over 140 settings that they requested, actually now 175 as they posted right here, about things that they want to see or things that they want to see back into the custom games options when it comes to Halo Infinite. And there are a lot of things. Some of these are more pipe dream wishes to actual things we've had previously in custom game settings that were actually would be very crucial to have to have it so then like you can have custom games play properly. And well, 343 dev actually recently reached out and actually replied to this and, and said like they're actually gonna be planning to work on everything that they mentioned within this update right here on Reddit. Uh, Carnivore, who is a developer over at 343, said, hey, wanted to say that I've gone through their entire list and reworked it into an organization that's easy for us to ingest with our current architecture and whatnot. Thanks a ton for the effort you put into this. Helps a lot. I agree our custom game options need to be get way better, which is definitely true right there. Uh, some requests will take longer than others, make it understandable right there. And some I folded into single options or new groupings, but I think the majority of these things we can and should do. So this can be a, probably a good dedication when it comes to uh, making sure custom games are functioning properly. This is where I'm kind of thinking that there might be a forge delay if you really want to make custom games something really good and special. That's what you have to do to make sure it has it can help support the feature of Forge because yeah, you can make Forge amazing, but if the custom game options aren't really there, then you can't really do what you want with Forge. I and mean, it seems like Forge itself definitely allows it, but maybe custom game settings might not. But it looks like 343 might be doubling down on the custom game side of thing, which is very important. So there were some recent leaks about Halo 5 coming to PC here. Uh, someone just posted this up. I'm not sure if it's a really good fake or something weird happened when it comes to the Xbox app on PC here. But you can see that they got the option to look into Halo 5 and install it for some way. I don't know how. Uh, if you remember previously, 343 stated they have no plans of moving Halo 5 to the MTC or on PC. Which community manager Unishek came back on here and kind of reiterated what we really knew about this saying, Hey y'all, sorry to drop and squash this, but there are no plans of bringing Halo 5 to PC at the moment. We'll let you all know if that changes, but for now that's not the case. I passed this message to the right folks to see what we can do to help avoid any confusion around this screen moving forward. So 
yeah, they're still not happening. Halo 5 is not coming to PC anytime soon. I wouldn't really expect to see it come to PC anytime soon. Uh, just because you have to completely rework, like especially the Rack system and also even Warzone when it comes to maybe possibly bringing Halo 5 into the MCC in some time soon. This must have been some weird bugged glitch where I thought that it was on the Xbox, but you're on PC. I don't know how that image got created, but it was floating around. I've seen people brought it up to me. I wanted to help clarify it for everyone. So yeah, Halo 5 is not coming to PC anytime soon. If you want some more details about those leaked Forge canvases and how 343 devs promise a big thing coming around for us very soon and some possibly some classic maps coming into Halo Infinite with Season 3, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.